Time to have a look through the newspapers this morning with financial journalist Liz Barkley and the broadcaster Ian Lee. Morning, one and all. Nice to see you. Liz, we'll kick off with the Sunday Telegraph, should we? And yes. um, ambulance chasers. Ambulance chasers, yes. Those lawyers who uh, try to get you to take a, a negligence case against the NHS in this case uh, are usually called ambulance chasers because they're quite aggressive about trying to get your business. Yeah. And uh, this is putting a figure on the amount of money this is costing the NHS. Uh, lawyers involved in these kind of clinical negligence cases against the NHS are attempting to charge anything up to £1,400 an hour in costs. And of course that's leaving the taxpayer with a whopping great bill of nearly £200 million mm. a year um, because they take these cases, lawyers take these cases on a no-win, no-fee basis, but actually, of course, that's not quite how it works. No. Um, and quite often what they seem to be doing is racking up costs that are worth an awful lot more than the claim that the person is putting through in the first place. Um, and, of course, this money has to come from somewhere. The NHS is, as we all know, fairly strapped for cash at the moment anyway. And there's a real feeling, you know, that this is taking money out of frontline care. But, of course, the thing about these kind of negligence cases is, I think, that, you know, we feel we have a compensation culture. I'm not sure that that's necessarily true, but people really want to get to the bottom of it. They want to know what's gone wrong. They want an apology, mostly. And they don't want to see it happening to anybody else. So it's very tempting to take the case in order to get that apology that you feel that you're entitled to. Yeah.